the biggest problem with twin witches is you never know which witch is which. What's going on, YouTube? It's the weekend. We're inside the Hollow City, inside a cold harbor, to go over our first of two weekend vendors. Now, this is a blind reaction, so bear with me as I figure out if these items are good. We've got to calculate the items here live. Beep, 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 beep. And uh, the reason we do this is for two major reasons. The first one being, you could resell these for a bit of profit, or you could use them for yourself. Now, these items are a bit unique because you have the banner of the hour, and the hour stuff is, it's okay. Now, the Dark Brotherhood stuff, hmm, 25,000 gold for a big banner, not too terrible. Uh, but notably, candles, Halloween themed, off the ground, probably a good investment. This big blood drippy-esque rug, probably going to be used in quite a few uh, unique Halloween design themes. This ledger stands actually not too bad to 4,000 gold slap on your books on there and uh yeah these other items are okay nothing jumps out at me the imperial archway i find interesting but not a whole lot of you are probably building cemeteries out there but you know i'm sure that there's a few um and then the curtains are kind of cool too just because you don't see curtains very often and honestly 12,000 gold for some nice closed curtains is not too bad but let's go to our next vendor and next up, we are inside our Cyrodiil Northern Gate to go over the traditional Golden Vendor. Before we do, though, just a quick reminder. If you don't mind, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We do the fastest intros that I possibly can conceive. So if you don't mind, hit those two buttons. We try to always shoot for between 5 to 10% likes to view ratio. Now, let's jump into the next one. And we start with Hersene's Ring. Grants 145 stamina recovery to you and 11 other group members within 28 meters of you. And don't you worry, this bonus persists through death. Now, the persisting through death part is actually essential to the importance of this set. And why is that, you may be wondering. And that's because if you're using this set, you and your group are probably mostly dead. So, the beautiful thing is, is you'll still get your 145 additional stamina recovery. This is not a very good set, if that's not abundantly obvious. Next up, though, is the Overland set from Shadowfen. Now, Shadowfen is an Overland zone that has the ability to farm world events, meaning you can get jewelry decently easy. So 125,000 gold is a lot for a gold ring in this economy. Uh, but let's talk about what the Hist set does well. So after Mara's Balm was nerfed, a lot of people were thinking that the Hist sap set was going to be its spiritual successor because... After being hit by a disabling effect, immobilization, or snare, you heal for 2,600 health every one second for five seconds. This gives you about 1,200 to 1,300 health, you know, per second, you know, on average when you're in Cyrodiil, just based on how often you're getting hit by disabling effects, immobilizing effects, snares, etc. Pretty commonly. Uh, does that mean that this set is viable? Uh, a lot of people say yes, and a lot of people say no. So it's very difficult to suggest. So my cop-out answer is, is that most people are not running it these days just because there's better alternatives. And spoiler alert, that there's a better alternative that's next on the list. Because, oh my gosh, a better alternative right below. And you couldn't have asked for better timing. Thank you, Zenimax. When you take damage, you summon a cloud of leeching poison under the assailant that deals 589 poison damage every one second for five seconds and heals you for 130% of the damage caused. This effect can occur once every five seconds and scales off of your maximum health. This is actually a pretty good tanking set, and it's a pretty good tanking set if you want to use PvE content. Now, again, most PvE tanks want to give buffs and things to their teammates. They want to either strengthen them, weaken the enemy, or do some other sort of like shenanigans. Generally, your goal as a tank, and this may sound counterintuitive, you don't really need that many sets to keep you alive. PvP, though, you can definitely see a little bit more utilization from this because you're going to be, you know, causing some damage ticks to heal you. And a lot of people absolutely love this set. And I think that it probably is a better spiritual successor to Mara's Balm, rest in peace, and it's definitely better, in my opinion, than the Hiss Sap. Is it a great set? Eh, I would say that it probably is like a good plus set, like a great minus set, you know? It would probably be like right between the A and the B tier. I don't think it's anything that's exceptionally crazy, but I do think that if you ran it, you would see good somewhere between good and great results. 
with healing yourself and keeping yourself alive, which is what this set is intending to do. Next up is the Overland set from Grotwood, I believe. Now, normally I try to get the zones correct on this, but this is not a set that you need to worry about knowing where it comes from or if it's good for you, because spoiler alert, it's not. Uh, when you block damage, flame, frost, shock, or magic damage, you restore 805 magicka. Now, this is a base game set, and the unfortunate reality is, is that if the stats were a little bit higher and the 2, 3, and 4 paired with it a little bit better, you probably could use a set like this in PvP, but as it stands, it's like a C-, minus. like it's a below average set that would be used for PvP, so there would be no benefit to purchasing it and using it, because what would be the benefit to sustain yourself if you're going to do that just use like daedric trickery use roxas use any set that gives you sustain hell i think i know what set you should use because this one if you die in pvp you could get some even you could get a little sustain from this one too you know next up we have an interesting item because it's choke thorn shoulders now i think that choke thorns is unironically one of the best healing monster sets in the game it's a base game one so the majority of you probably have it but if you don't want to spend your undaunted keys, 100,000 gold, 200,000 alliance points, is actually really not that much of an investment to save yourself a bunch of undaunted keys, especially because now they're curated, which is fantastic, but they also cost slightly more. And while you can earn you know, more undaunted keys by doing hard modes, yada, 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 you probably aren't farming them if you're spending your currency, such as alliance points. So I think if you want to buy the Choke Thorn Shoulders, it's a perfectly good serviceable monster set. And if you're getting into that end game type content, it's one that you probably want to have just in case based on if there's certain mechanics that require you to basically need to heal a crazy amount, it would come up. Because again, this is just a straight heal effect, pretty much. Most of the time, healers support classes. They also want to give out buffs and things, but there are times when they need to be able to dish out tons of healing. And when you need to do that, Choke Thorn is one that you want to have. Next up is from the Banished Cells, and that is Maw of the Infernal, also the Shoulders. Now, this comes from the Banished Cells 2 version, but when you deal light or heavy attacks, you have a 33% chance to summon a fire breathing Daedroth for 15 seconds. The Daedroth attack deals 44 31 flame damage every two seconds. The Daedroth can only be summoned once every 15 seconds, and it scales off your weapon or spell damage. When a lot of people go to Cyrodiil, right, they're, you know, defending the keep, and then they'll get attacked by a gigantic fire-breathing alligator from behind them, and they get very confused. If you've ever seen that happen, this is the set that causes it. A lot of people have gotten away from using this set, because there used to be some really sneezy, you know, pet Sork builds that would use every pet imaginable. And honestly, it seemed like really the goal was just make it very hard to tap target them. But you can do tons of damage with sets like these. And these are decently popular still because as you go into Cyrodiil and you see gigantic fire-breathing alligators, those are not random ones being summoned around Bruma. Those are actually ones being summoned by people uh, running this set. Is it great? No, it would probably be in like the B category. If you said put all of the monster sets on a tier list with C being dead average, D being below average and b being above average and i would put this in the above average slash good tier on the list it's not going into a the great tier or s the essential tier but if you're looking at this and you're like jake you know i watched the crawl movie i like alligators i want to be a florida man you know go for it and then wear the slime crawl you know monster style page on your face too and just go buck wild with it. But everyone, that wraps up the video. I just want to thank you guys again for watching. I always love doing these little Friday uh, vendor reviews. We will be doing a bit of a controversial video tomorrow because we're going to be talking about some Bethesda stuff going on behind the scenes. But as always, we're doing our giveaway drawings. Before we talk about those, those we are less than 50 subscribers away from 24K. So if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button. I know I'm doing like a little bit of a special uh, ploy here, but we're so close to 24. And 24 might seem insignificant, but like your 24th birthday, for those of you who've had it, it feels significant, even though not a lot is different. <laughs> and as always, we're doing our three giveaway drawings. All you need to do to enter is be subscribed slash follow on Twitch and Twitter. Second thing is you just leave a comment in the comments below. Tell me, did anything tickle the pickle this week? If I was going to get anything, it probably would be the day draw sex. I actually don't have that. Uh, and I think it'd be kind of funny for a dueling build just to have every pet imaginable, like the Atronaut 
and you've got the two you got the clan fear you got the twilight matriarch you got that bad boy as a summon it would just be very annoying for your opponent <laughs> to deal with that and to duel you as a sorcerer dueling build it'd be kind of funny but then the third thing is look for a hidden word be flashed upon the screen if you're the first person to comment that word you will win thank you guys so much again for watching and i'll catch you guys tomorrow bye guys you better remember to like and subscribe to jake clips or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or, better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you.